What's up guys? Back for another quick mailbag today. I hope you guys enjoyed that week of uploads every day. It was a pile of work but I learned a lot and I learned how to do maybe some better editing and bring you guys some more content and it inspired me to go back and do some projects that I've been putting off and play with some equipment that I haven't done in a long time. Look forward to lots more of those coming up on the channel. Click a thumbs up if you like them. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you liked or you didn't like or why you liked them or whatever just hit me up down below i'd love to hear from you let's get on with the mailbag Alrighty, first out of the box i got a ton of 3d printer filament this is all from amaze 3d this is actually sponsored by them if you've been following the channel a long time you know i almost exclusively buy amz 3d filament and they happened to see my pictures on instagram and twitter and asked me if i wanted some and i said absolutely they asked if i'd take some returned ones from amazon I said, absolutely. So this one's used. This is a, a standard PLA light blue, this one. We also got some black and this is PLA plus. And from what I understand, it's their next step up from standard PLA. I haven't used it yet, but I will be trying this this week. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to make. Some really awesome orange. Check out that color. I like it. It's not translucent like I've been printing lately. This is just a, a solid color. Very, very cool. I'm really happy with the Amaze 3D quality. I, I have really good luck. It's really reliable diameter, which means you don't have many uh, extrusion issues. Holy smokes, look at that. That's cool. That's the yellow PLA Plus, and those are brand new rolls, and we'll give them a go. Next out of the box, got some PCB rulers. These I've never had before and I've seen them on lots of other electronics channels and they look really, really neat. This is a, a ruler with all different sizes of SMD components, wire gauges, uh, trace sizing. So you can get a look at, uh, get an idea of what any component or trace or wire gauge or whatever is. Here's the, the pitch for different uh, SMD, looks like uh, ICs. Very, very cool, BGA 20 by 20. Oh, neat, very cool. Okay, next up is all me. I had these custom made, and these are available down in the description below. These are my new shirts for the channel. I got this Maker shirt. Uh, they're just uh, Teespring designs, and I now sell them. We have Engineering. I love that design. That's going to be cool. And then we also have the Make Me logo. Very, very cool. I think I'm going to like these. Really nice quality shirts. I had to try some of these and, and see how they were. Uh, I'm really quite satisfied with that. That's a really high quality cotton shirt. I like it. All right, I couldn't, I couldn't resist trying one out. I love these shirts. I'm really happy with the way they came out. Again, you can find them down below if you're interested in such a thing. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get some more of these. As well available, my very own coffee mug. Oh, I love it. I really like that. I, I'm a big coffee person. I drink way too much of this stuff. So now I can drink coffee from my very own logoed mug. Very cool. Again, if you want to support the channel, you can grab these down below. Next up, some new FPV gear. This is new Pagoda style antennas, I believe. Two different ones. No, same. Just two, same. Flat Pagoda style, interesting PCB kind of inlaid design, and then SMA connections. Very, very cool. I'm going to give these a try on my quad. Somebody on the channel pointed out that they said that, that I was going to like these Pagoda styles, and I actually kind of do. The performance is better than I expected, so we're going to give these ones a go. These are just a, a cheap Amazon no-namer brand. Next up, I don't know what this is. Ah, very cool. I needed some new batteries. I actually wore out my Canon 70D batteries finally. I've been doing so much videoing lately. Uh, just finally enough cycles went through them. They don't last terribly long anymore. So there we go. Uh, just again, knockoff brand. These are Power Extra. Uh, comes with two batteries and a charger from Amazon Prime shipped. 
Uh, we'll see how they work, but they're better than what's in the camera and what I have available. So I had a really good luck with the existing no-namers that I bought two, three years ago. So I think these will work good. Got some spare PTFE tube. This is for the Bowden style 3D printers that I run. This is what guides the filament to the hot end. And it's very, very smooth and very, very slippery and works really good to guide the filament in. Um, sometimes you do have them get damaged uh, from the hot end or whatever, or they get worn a bit inside and get a little draggy. Well, now I have lots of spare. Some new batteries. These are from Amazon as well. I find them to be the best source for uh, LiPo batteries lately. For me here in Canada, uh, we can't buy cheap LiPos from overseas anymore because of the shipping of the darn things. So uh, I love, these are not cheap by any stretch. These are the Tattoo 1300 milliamp hour. Price reasonable, quality not cheap. An amazing battery. I have tremendous luck with these. And uh, yeah, it's 1375C, so it, you can pull a lot of amps. And if you take care of them and don't run them low, and balance them every time. These things last a very, very long time. I've had great luck with the tattoos. Uh, in fact, the best of luck of any battery. So I'm gonna get these charged up because there is a uh, Model Club Funfly, the local club that I belong to has their Funfly this weekend. So might uh, might fire those up and take them out and put them in a quadcopter and rip around. More 3D printing goodies. We got what looks like a complete spare hot end. Now, I believe I ordered these for a couple of different printers, so I'm not sure which one this is. I suspect, judging by that cable, that looks like an exact replacement for my CR10. And it is. That is a complete direct replacement hot end for the CR10 3D printer. Not something you're going to need very often, but uh, I did not have a spare complete hot end. Uh, I do have a spare uh, E3D V6 original one, but I don't really want to retrofit the computer because, or retrofit the 3D printer, because I've had great luck with the original hot end. So I just picked up one of these right off of eBay, and now I have a complete spare. So when my other one finally gives me enough trouble that I need to replace it, other like say the hot end fails or the heat break has some problems or whatever, I can just replace this and it's just plug and play. Easy, I don't have to run any wires. It's already pretty strong, which is nice. And one last small component came in. This is just a banana to XT60 adapter for charging LiPo packs. Uh, I only had one between my two chargers and I was swapping it. I lost one somehow, I don't know how. So now I have a spare. I hope you liked that. I hope it was a fun mailbag. Click a thumbs up down below if you like them. I'll see you in another day or two with another new video. Cheers, guys.